Hello friends. In this video, I am going to talk about our new design. This is a uh, A7672S evaluation board. Uh, this was designed for SIMCOM for uh, testing the features of this uh, cellular module. Uh, this module is called as A7672S and uh, it supports 4G LTE CAT1 and also supports uh, 2G fallback. So this module is uh, especially made for uh, Indian bands. Uh, so it uh, all the Indian uh, 4G networks like Jio, Airtel, Vodafone, all the 4G networks will work uh, with this module. And uh, there is also one more variant uh, of, of this module called A7672E uh, that is available for the European market. So there is no specific version made for the American market or other areas. So right now this one uh, I am testing this. Uh, I used this uh, module already on my well tracker GPS trackers and it works quite well. Uh, this one was made for uh, just for uh, general purpose usage uh, for people who want to evaluate uh, for people who want to evaluate the features of this hardware. So for this uh, uh, this module uh, to tell more about this module, this one has uh, two variants: uh, A7672S uh, FASC. FASC is with the GNSS; it has inbuilt GNSS in it. And then there is uh, A7672S LAC. LAC doesn't have a GNSS in it. And uh, the uh, one more important feature is this one has Bluetooth 4 on it. Uh, as you can see here, there is a uh, Bluetooth uh, antenna left out, which can be used for uh, Bluetooth. Uh, uh, connectivity. Uh, there are some specific commands uh, dedicated for Bluetooth for controlling the uh, GAT characteristics uh, and all on this module. Uh, there are uh, there is a cellular antenna connector provided in the form of UFL connector. Uh, I have just connected a FFC connector for the for testing and it works well, and it works well. Uh, there is another uh, connector here uh, which is the uh, GNSS connector. So this one uh, you can. Uh, uh, connected to any active antenna there is already biasing provided so you can connect uh, active antenna to this to get uh, GPS location. Uh, this board works on uh, a 3.7 to 4.2 volt battery or it can also work on 12 volt input. I used a TPS uh, 54240 switching regulator here so you can connect voltage up to 42 volts uh, for this because the chip is rated from up to 42 volts. So uh, and then uh, this uh, chip directly reduces the 12, 12 volts to 4 volts and uh, supplies to the cellular module. Uh, there are three LEDs provided. Uh, one is for uh, net light, one is for power, and the other one is general purpose LED. And uh, there is a nano SIM connector provided for inserting a nano SIM. And there is a micro USB port provided for connecting the USB lines of ES7672S uh, to uh, to, the, to a computer for firmware upgrade. The module appears as, as a AT command port and also as some other USB peripherals uh, which can be used to explore more features of this uh, chip. Uh, this module uh, also supports uh, embedded AT commands uh, so you can uh, run your firmware directly on the chip and uh, there are some uh, th there is some SDK provided by SIMCOM which can be used for uh, uh, developing your own application uh, and there are example codes for uh, Bluetooth. Uh, HTTP, TCP, like that, which can be used for, uh, uh, which can be used to eliminate a, a separate MCU uh, for cost saving purposes. Uh, there is a level translator used. This one supports 1.8 volt I/O level, so we used a TXS0104 I/O level translator. I/O level translator here, and most of the pins which were present on the module have been routed to, uh, to routed to pin headers. And uh, this one is the SPA connector. Two SMA connectors have also been provided. So SMD type of SMA connectors can be connected here, which can be used for uh, connecting the GNSS antenna or the GPS antenna. There are two switches uh, on the board, as you can see here. One is for uh, one is connected to the power key pin of the module, and the other one is connected to the reset pin of the module. So power key is needed for turning on the module uh, once the power is connected to it. One more important feature of this module is it supports analog audio. Most of the 4G modules of SIMCOM uh, did not support 4G audio, for analog 4G audio and they all uh, gave the PCM lines out uh, for connecting to an external codec. But this module uh, has analog audio interface. So there is a mic and speaker connection so where you can connect a, a microphone directly here and uh, you, you can also take out the speaker lines to connect into any amplifier or headphone. Uh, all the all the all the IOs have been uh, marked in the bottom so that you can understand easily when you are making the connections. 
and I also added a TSSOP20 pin uh, MCU here. Uh, it's a ST MCU footprint. Uh, we can connect a ST, we can solder an STM32 G0 MCU here and use this as a standalone board. Uh, if there is any small application you want to run, like uh, you know, sending small data to a server or something like that, you can run your code on this uh, on this chip. Uh, this one is the STM32 G030 MCU footprint. You, uh, once the, once it is soldered, you can write your firmware and uh, control the module through AT commands. This uh, the what lines of the module or directly connected to this chip let me connect power to the module and show you how it works how it works let's first insert the sim card i'll insert an airtel 4g sim card in it and connect a 3.7 volt to 4.2 volt battery Now I will connect uh, 3.7 volt to 4.2 volt lithium ion battery to the board. This LED indicates that the power has been uh, connected and now I will use the power key pin, uh, power key switch, this is uh, on the right side here. Pressing it will turn on the cellular module. The last LED which is the netlight LED will turn on initially, it will be stable indicating that it is searching for the network. Once the network is available, it will start blinking at uh, this rate. Now if I call to the SIM card inserted in the, in the module, it will ring and also uh, it is ready to uh, make, any, uh, make any connections. So this is how the hardware works, so I will make more videos on how to connect this port to a computer and use the AT commands to control the module and uh, make the connections to the server to using the Bluetooth and uh, accessing GPS location etc. And also how to make the connections to other hardware using the UART lines and using the power key lines and the IO level translator. So stay tuned, see you in my next video, thank you for watching, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.